may be possible to clone human beings. Our administration believes that there are loopholes that could allow the cloning of human beings if such if the technology were developed. Therefore, today I am issuing a directive that bans the use of any federal funds for any cloning of human beings. Effective immediately, no federal agency may support, fund, or undertake such activity. Of course, a great deal of research and activity in this area is supported by private funds. That is why I am urging the entire scientific and medical community, every foundation, every university, every industry that supports work in this area, to heed the federal government's example. I'm asking for a voluntary, mor voluntary, mor voluntary moratorium on the cloning of human beings until our Bioethics Advisory Commission and our entire nation have had a real chance to understand and debate the profound ethical implications of the latest advances. As we gain a fuller understanding of this technology, we must proceed not with caution, not just with caution, but also with a conscience. By insisting that not a single taxpayer dollar supports human cloning and by urging a moratorium on all private research in this area, we can ensure that as we move forward on this issue, we weigh the concerns of faith and family and philosophy and values, not merely of science alone. Thank you very much. A hopeful society has institutions of science and medicine that do not cut ethical corners and that recognize the matchless value of every life. Tonight, I ask you to pass legislation to prohibit the most egregious abuses of medical research. Human cloning in all its forms. Human cloning in all its forms. Human cloning in all its forms. Creating or implanting embryos for experiments. Creating human-animal hybrids. And buying, selling, or patenting human embryos. Human life is a gift from our Creator. And that gift should never be discarded, devalued, or put up for sale. Meet Zhong Zhong and Hua Hua. These twin, long-tailed, crab-eating macaques are being hailed as a scientific breakthrough. This laboratory in China has succeeded where other researchers have failed. Scientists at the Institute of Neuroscience in Shanghai created the first cloned monkeys using a technique called somatic cell nuclear transfer. The cloning process began with a monkey egg and a monkey fetus cell. The genetically modified process in the laboratory then develops into an embryo, which was then implanted in a monkey. Eventually, the babies were born. What's novel about this process is the nuclei were transferred from fetal cells rather than adult ones. That's different from the world's first cloned animal, Dolly the sheep, which was created from only adult cells. China is the first to successfully clone primates using this method. However, scientists are criticized for pushing ethical boundaries. The Chinese process took 127 eggs to produce two monkeys. Animal rights activists oppose medical research on monkeys. And I should point out that people may argue that the, it's not ethical to use monkey. There is a Parkinson's disease model uh, in monkey, which has been used quite effective, but they need to use a large number of monkeys. Uh, in the United States alone, they are importing 30,000, 40,000 monkeys each year by drug company. Other researchers are celebrating how cloning primates could help preserve species on the brink of extinction. The other use is, you know, many primates are on the border of extinction. Gorillas, chimpanzees, many other primate species are under pressure. Cloning may give you a way to maintain the species. Given the progress in cloning primates, will people be next? Will people be next? Will people be next? We will never try, and we have no... I don't think there's anybody are willing to do human cloning, and a society will not permit it. But like, like any new technology, once it's appeared, there's always possibility of misuse. Like, like any new technology, once it's appeared, there's always possibility of misuse. Wow. Yeah, so family, you guys see what's going on here? <laughs> you see what I'm showing you? Are you connecting the dots? I hope so. Because they had a thing called the human primate barrier that they claimed they couldn't break in order to clone humans. When these Chinese cloned these monkeys family, they broke the human primate barrier. That means now on the books for a fact there is no problem in cloning humans. They have all the technology and all the science. The only thing supposedly stopping it, like what Clinton said in the first clip, was a voluntary 
voluntary moratorium. You have to voluntarily not clone humans, okay? Yeah, so if you have the technology, you can do it. And family, they've been had this technology. This is that Anunnaki shit I've been telling you guys about. The Cabbage Patch shit. They figured out how their masters cloned them. And now they reversed engineered the technology. And they're using it themselves. That's all that happened. Just like in those goofy movies. You create the android, then the android creates androids. That's what's happening. These people figured out how to clone just like they were cloned. You see me? It's called shit rolling downhill. But anyway, family, these are all the receipts you need. All these clone people are a real thing. They've been cloning these motherfuckers. You heard me? Yeah, man, because the technology exists. And why wouldn't they do it? For moral reasons? Come on, man. Let's go, fam. There ain't no moral implications going to stop these demons from doing human cloning. It's called capitalism. And you see what they're using it for. These goofy celebrities, mind control, MK Ultra, to create their false like construct where they can pretend to be God. So family, what I'm showing you right here is that supposedly, according to them, the only reason that they don't clone humans is because it's wrong. <laughs> Not because they don't have the technology, but because it's wrong.